under the wizards um, when you uh, look at the set up a database section there's a wizard for create a login so go ahead and select that this wizard will help you grant SQL Server login access to a user with this wizard you can select an authentication mode you can uh, grant access to security roles and also grant access to a database so I'm going to go ahead and select next this is uh, where it lets you decide okay are you using Windows authentication or are you using SQL Server authentication so I'm going to go ahead and select the second option and select next um, the new login I'm creating um, let's just use Joe with the same password I'm going to hit next uh, it's asking you okay is is Joe gonna be part of any of these server roles um, I'll talk about these in a minute uh, for now I'm just going to leave them all blank and I will hit next uh, then it's asking okay which database does Joe have access to I'm going to go ahead and select uh, our sample database which is the SS EMDB database and select next and uh, that's pretty much it for initial login you can hit OK now if you wanted to see okay where you know how do I know the Joe is in our system if you go ahead and select um, you can minimize the database tab uh, expand the security uh, folder you'll see an option for logins go ahead and select that on the right side you will notice Joe is there if you double click on that it will uh, bring up all the uh, features relating to that user so in the general section it says Joe there's the password um, server roles we left everything blank and then for the database access let's see what we have notice that uh, we have a database SSCMDB and Joe has access to